The Barents Sea is one of the shelf seas surrounding the polar basin, and it connects with the Norwegian Sea to the west. Recently someone was looking on Google Earth and noticed something strange in the sea ice, describing it as a triangular cutout. For those unaware, sea ice frequently occurs in the Barents Sea, and a 2021 study showed that the area consists mainly of fascia ice, and also young sea ice, saying that its average thickness was around half a metre. The user commented that they were surprised to see this, and that no other triangular cutouts could be seen within the area. Oddly enough, people noticed that there's nothing in the area to indicate that it had been created by a ship, and point out that there's nothing leading up to this that would prove that a ship had passed through the area. One user said the following, The first thing you'd go to looking at an area like this would be a ship. Research vessels are known to come through here, and it's not uncommon for scientists to conduct experiments throughout these regions, but there's no trail leading up to or away from this triangular formation. Also, the ice here doesn't look thin, and you can see that no other areas have been exposed to the water below. Not sure what caused this. Users then moved on to what could have created this, suggesting that a submarine or another type of underwater craft may have caused it. The photograph then made its way to a group that investigates anomalies in the Arctic and Antarctic, and some said that this isn't the first time that strange anomalies like this have been discovered in these regions. Although, as some have stated, it's rare to find such a large hole like this that's in the shape of a triangle, and said that most of the anomalies that are seen in these regions are circular. Due to the areas in which these discoveries are made, it's led some to question what's causing them, especially when they're found in such circumstances like this one, where there's nothing around it to indicate what could have created it. One user suggested that the ice in this area became weak, and that it crumbled under its own weight into the water below, explaining that the triangular shape is just random. Another user suggested that a new piece of equipment, or possibly an aircraft, was being tested in the area, and that the result of this is the triangular cutout. Interestingly, it was just announced a few months back that the UK was raising awareness about Moscow's military presence in the Arctic, saying that they've been observed testing out their new weapons. Since the early 2000s, it's been said that they've been trying to assert their dominance in the Arctic, and that, as of lately, they've been seen testing out their new exotic weaponry throughout the region. So could a new aircraft or submarine be responsible for this strange triangular-shaped formation? This reminded some of the strange iceberg that had been photographed by NASA. Back in 2018, during Operation Icebridge, NASA was conducting an aerial survey of the northern Antarctic, and during this they spotted a strange-looking iceberg in the distance. As they flew in for a closer look, they described it as looking like a rectangle. NASA said the following on their website. Operation Icebridge, NASA's longest-running aerial survey of polar ice, flew over the northern Antarctic peninsula on October 16, 2018. During the survey designed to assess changes in the ice height of several glaciers draining into Larsen A, B and C, Icebridge senior support scientist Jeremy Harbeck spotted a very sharp angular tabular iceberg floating among the sea ice, just off of the Larsen C ice shelf. A photo of the iceberg was widely shared after it was posted on social media. Jeremy Harbeck stated, I thought it was pretty interesting. I often see icebergs with relatively straight edges, but I've not really seen one before with two corners at such right angles like this one. The rectangular iceberg appeared to be freshly carved from Larsen C, which in July 2017 released the massive A68 iceberg, a chunk of ice around the size of the state of Delaware. Harbeck captured both the edge of the now famous iceberg and a slightly less rectangular iceberg, that image also captures A68 in the distance. Jeremy Harbeck continued with the following. 
I was more interested in capturing the A68 iceberg that we was about to fly over, but I thought this rectangular iceberg was so visually interesting and fairly photogenic that I just had to take a couple of photos as part of a five week long ice bridge deployment, which began on October 10th and was scheduled to conclude on November 18th. Our world is an incredible mix of impossible to explain phenomena, and overwhelming information has left many puzzled as to the nature of strange things from around the world. To help bring these mysterious phenomena to light and provide them with an understandable explanation, scientists and researchers have conducted a variety of tests. Although they've done a great job at helping understand certain discoveries and anomalies, there's still some that remain a mystery. So what do you make of this interesting photograph? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.